Hey guys, so welcome to the video tutorials. In these video tutorials, I will give you a short description about the reading progress. Reading progress is actually a reading position indicator. And using it, and you can set the position or wherever you want. You can set it top and bottom, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And you can also choose the custom positions. And look at the pace and look at the right side. Here is the indicator, reading progress indicator. I am scrolling from top to bottom and see. And it is giving you masses how far you are reading. Like these default positions, you can set top to bottom progress, horizontal progress and progress with cursor if you use our reading progress with it. Over these tutorials, I will guide you how you can make reading progress for your target people. Guys, so let's start the tutorial. Uh, see, I'm in Elementor dashboard and I have inserted the reading progress widget earlier. After inserting the widget, you will also find reading progress sections under content tab. And there is e skin control. With default positions, here you will find two more e skin options and it is a back to top with progress, horizontal progress and progress with cursor. At this time, I am choosing back to top with progress. I look at the bottom of the page. If you click on the arrow, it will take you to the top quickly. Now I am selecting horizontal progress. When I have select horizontal progress, you will find the progress bar in horizontal positions. And it is eloquent the red arrows is moving. Sorry, red line is moving. And it is actually reading progress or you can say reading indicator. If you want to set the positions, you can do that. This time I'm choosing top. And see the reading progress bar is in top positions. Now I'll choose progress with cursor. And see I'm scrolling. And there is a progress indicator with cursor. And it is taking its positions wherever I am taking my mouse. The mouse cursor is taking place. If you want to increase the circle size, you can do that. Just you have to use the scroll control. I am going back again to back to top with progress. Now come to positions. Here you will find bottom right position, bottom left position, bottom right. Sorry, top right and top left. The cursor is top right side. Now I am choosing top left. Bottom right. Bottom left. A secondary circle size will help you to increase or decrease the progress size, reading progress size. Here is the options horizontal offset and particle offset. Using these two controls, you can set the offset position horizontally and particularly. Now this is a horizontal offset position. And it will help you to take the uh, reading progress in suitable positions. I'm going back to default position. If you choose default skins, you will get all the controls together. I mean primary circle size, secondary circle size, horizontal offset and vertical offset. Now look at the primary circle size. Now I'll show you how secondary circle size work. 
Now look at horizontal offset. I'm scrolling the page top to bottom but it is not showing. For that app, first of all I have to update. Then I have to click on the preview changes. And this time I'm scrolling the page top to bottom and see and see the indicator left side. Bottom left side. I'm going back to Elementor dashboard. Now come to style tab. Here is additional sections and these sections hold some controls. I mean color, background color, secondary background color, active background, border type and typography. These controls can be different because of different skin. So to see the difference just keep your eyes on the screen. So that's all about uh, reading progress bar with it. I hope these tutorials will be very useful to you and thanks for watching.